Don't be shy, cause I, the life won't bring you down too far. This is Kevin Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Delighted always, as always, to be joined by Mr. Huey Fury. How are you, mate? Good, sir. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, your hair's getting a bit long, mate. No, nope. needs to do. Have you ever thought about just shaving it off? I have done a few times. Have you? Yeah, it depends what mood I'm in. I think it suits you with a bit of hair, though, doesn't it? Yeah, that's him. Going bald is not not on my uh, seat of glass for sure. <laughs> Have you dyed your hair? Dyed it? You got blonde? No, it's the light. Must be the light, mate. I've got a few greys in there, but definitely not blonde. No, those days are over, mate. Um, have you been keeping over the last few weeks since we last caught up? Yeah, good. Just been taking long, just been uh, training and stuff, same usual. Has it been a little bit frustrating for you that you haven't been able to pin down a fight date? Yeah, it is frustrating, but it's one of them. you just got to keep uh, nailing it in the gym and hopefully get up before Christmas. Um, talking to Eddie Hearn the other day, he said that he still wants to make the fight with you and Dave Allen by the end of the year. So, is that still obviously on the radar? Yeah, so I'm not interested. Like I say to you, we asked, we asked for the fight. We, we watched it called, didn't we? We said for the fight for about three times he didn't want it, did he? So, like I say to you, Forget that. I'm mean, worth talking about. It. Move on. Get the fights. Like I say to you, at the time it would have been ideal because it was in lockdown. Quick fight out. But I'm I'm looking to get big fights and go back up to the top. So if the fight's put to you, I say I'm not really interested. Okay. Fair play. Fair enough. Um, New topic. So. There's obviously a lot of heavyweight fights, fight nights coming up by the end of the year. Um, there's three potential pay-per-view shows, uh, the Dillian White rematch, Joshua, and also Usyk Zizora. So I'm assuming that you will feature at least on one of these cards. Yeah, hopefully, definitely. So like I say, the main thing is just get back out there before Christmas. And um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to it now. I've just been training away non-stop, so it'd be nice to be back in the ring. But you're doing the right thing, isn't you? You'll keep yourself in shape, active, so when the call comes, which it will do, you know you're going to fight this year, but when it comes, that you're ready. Yeah, 100%, like you say to you, you've got to do. It's uh, the professional business, isn't it? You've got to stay uh, fit, you've got to keep in the gym, and you've got to keep uh, motivated every day. Obviously, um, well, it depends how you look at it, really. Some people look at it as a shock, some people didn't, but Dillian White getting beat... Uh, a couple of weeks ago now, um, did kind of raise a few eyebrows in that because it was a, a fight that Dillian White took and he was winning and then he got caught in the fight. What, what was your kind of assessment of that fight with someone that obviously you know well in, in Alexander Povetkin? Yeah, listen, like I say to you, he was uh, doing well uh, White. It's uh, one of them things, but Povetkin is a very dangerous man and he can punch county, so... Uh, I think Dylan White was a bit too cautious in the fight, and uh, I think when he had him down in the was it in the early rounds, he should uh, have fourth, he should fourth have, round. Uh, he had him down twice. Yeah, he should have went on it. I think he was too patient. Do you think he should have just gone for it as soon as Povetkin was hurt, jumped on him, and, and yeah. got the job done? Got the job done and said because uh, I say Povetkin's a dangerous man in time. He can punch and he can um, fight. But, uh, yeah, listen, it was a good fight. The shot he done was unbelievable. Do you think you should have more credit for your performance over Povetkin, um, considering kind of what happened the other day? I can say to you, I'm not really bothered what people think. I just want the opportunity to fight Povetkin again. Um, I say I'm learning all the time. All people don't understand this my age as well. And I'm, uh, now, from there, I was 16 stone. Uh, I think when I fought um, him, I'm getting bigger and stronger every day. Like I say, I'm hitting harder, um, twice, like I say, twice the size, uh, just filling out my body. So obviously, like I say, my body's just keep filling out all the time. So these are the fights where I'll come and uh, 
against, but you just got to take the experience. Because, I mean, the experience that you've had already, how old are you, 23? No, 25. 25? I just took two years off your life there. <laughs> <laughs> At 25, you've had more experience with, like, these top elite-level heavyweights than a lot of people that have had, like, 30 or 40 fights. Yeah, 100%. I've had... Uh... I've not dodged anyone. We've been in the ring with everyone. So, like I said to you, this is it's just all experience. Has other opponents been mentioned for you? Or has any been discussions about who you could potentially face this year? Have people, I can tell you now, I couldn't have a clue. wouldn't have a clue about anything. You're one of these people who's just like, basically, the name gets put to you, you go, yep, yeah, let's fight him and let's go. Yeah, listen, I'm just saying, I don't like messing about. If you're... You mentioned the name, the fight, that's it. Like I say to you, uh, I don't really get involved in it. Okay, so uh, you're training today? Yeah, I've been training uh, this morning twice, yeah. Early start, six o'clock this morning. Six on the way. Six o'clock, that's hardcore. Hardcore. Eat, sleep, repeat, training. But that, that, I mean, that's been, since you turned professional, that's been your, like, the way you train anyway, isn't it? You're kind of a, are a bit of a gym freak and you do kind of take that side of it very seriously. You don't really kind of have, like, off months and everything. You're always kind of ticking over or in I like, I like to stick along in the gym. It's just improving and uh, you can always improve your game. So I like to uh, stay fit and uh, when the opportunity comes, it comes. Just going back to that, that fight with uh, uh, Pavekin. What do you think happens in the rematch, Huey, between the pair of them? Like you say, it's, 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 it's again, it's um, it's going to be a tough fight again because, like you say, he's got the confidence now, Pavekin, knowing that he can hurt uh, White. And uh, White, like you say, he's 50-50. Who catches who again? Yeah, because it's literally, it's one of them fights where you literally can't tell what's going to happen. We, people no, it's, it's, it. who's got the better, it's who's got the better game plan and who's got the better chin when it comes down to it. Yeah, interesting. That fight should be announced this week, so um, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Is your dad still away? I know he was away last yeah. week. Is he back? Uh, no, he's back, but he's, uh, he's somewhere. <laughs> he's somewhere Are around here. What do you think with the fight, the rematch? What do you reckon? Uh, well, it's just judging the way the fight played out, I think Dylan White's more than capable of beating him, but there is obviously a, a, a huge risk there, co considering how he lost, where he was winning the fight, and then Povetkin is capable of doing that to anyone. So it's, uh, it's become a huge rematch now. It was a big fight couple of weeks ago but now the rematch the intrigue around the rematch is massive now yeah it will be yeah what um, be a fight did uh did you watch Daniel Dubois fight the other day uh no I never seen that to be honest you missed that one okay was, uh, uh, he fight a cruiserweight or something uh, Ricardo Schneider's, yeah, I think uh, he dismantled him pretty easily. I, th I think they're waiting to find out what happens with, uh, well, I'm assuming it'll be the Joe Joyce fight next. Uh, there's been rumours that that could be moved again to November. We'll have to wait and see. But who wins that fight for you, uh, Dubois and Joyce? It's going to be, uh, like I say, again, with them two, it's a, it's a tough fight. It's with the experience on the side and... Uh, uh, it's going to be tough. You've got the explosiveness and you've got the ruggedness coming forward by Joyce. So, so basically you can keep the, uh, who can take your shot better. Because they're both hittable, aren't they? Yeah, of course. There's so, a, sorry, go on. No, go on. There's so many different fights in this division where like literally, I mean, I know heavyweight fights are made, but there's so many different fights, including with yourself, that could be matched up with a lot of uh, good fights to make good fights. Yeah, 100%. Like I said, the fights won't need to be made and will get made eventually, won't they? It'll uh, happen. Some, like I say, the heavyweight division at the minute is vibing, isn't it? So it's good. It's good, definitely, definitely. All right, no problem. So you finished the training for today or you've got to still go and train? 
No, I still got to train. So literally come in, do an interview, and back to training. That's the one. All right, well, listen, I'm going to let you crack on, Huey. I appreciate a little bit of your time today, and uh, hopefully you get some fight news soon, and we can uh, we can yeah. have another follow-up. Yeah, that'll do, Coogan. Thanks very much, and I'll speak to you soon, mate. Take care. Take care, mate. Thank you very much. Shy, I, the life won't bring you down too far.